Okay, hello. Let's talk about blood pressure, area, and velocity when it comes to circulation. So if you remember, let's start with the actual order of things again, just to kind of review things. Um, blood starts being pumped in the heart and it goes into aorta. Aorta is the first uh, area that it visits. Uh, from aorta it goes to the large arteries large arteries then it goes to small arteries from there it goes to arterioles and here it goes into capillaries which are the smallest um, channels they are only one cell thick then this is where it loses its oxygen and acquires carbon dioxide and then it becomes venules it goes into venules from there it goes into small veins large veins from large veins it goes into uh, one of two vena cava which is a large uh, vein that goes inside the heart then it goes in so all of this is what we refer to as this is our systemic circulation systemic circulation and from there it goes back into the heart so now it's back inside the heart and it flows into uh, pulmonary circulation so it goes inside pulmonary pulmonary artery then arterioles then it goes into capillaries inside the lungs Uh, let me move this a little bit. I'm going to move this over here. Okay, perfect. And um, here, inside the lungs, it acquires oxygen again, and the blood becomes uh, oxygenated and goes inside venules. So you can see these venules are red, so it means they have oxygen in them, and inside pulmonary veins pulmonary veins and back into the heart back into the heart um, now what's important to understand here is that both pressure and velocity change throughout uh, this adventure slash travel of the blood uh, so I, what I did for you here is uh, for each of the um, areas I kind of labeled it here on this diagram so let's start with let's start with the first one is going to be pressure and we're going to use orange for pressure so let's look at pressure first so this is our pressure um, pressure is going to be the so this is the heart pressure is going to be highest in the heart so heart, aorta, and the large arteries, it's going to be pretty high. It does vary a little, so it, it's, it's going to vary a little, but it, it keeps going down. So by the time that it gets to number three, which is small arteries, it's already pretty low. So it's already going to be here. Then once it reaches capillaries, which is number five, this is when the pressure is really, really low. And here uh, it keeps dropping, but not as much until it reaches the vena cava, which is basically the lowest part where the pressure is the lowest. So here at number nine, number nine, this is when the pressure is the lowest. 
um, from vena cava, it goes inside the heart again, and it goes up, but it doesn't go up as much. It doesn't go up as much. So inside the, so this is our systemic. Uh, no, sorry, this is our systemic. And this is the pulmonary. It doesn't go as high and then it just keeps dropping again and then goes back inside the heart and goes up again so the pressure changes in in this manner um, so it's important to remember that it's the lowest inside the vena cava and it's the highest inside the heart or I guess if you want to uh, if the question is about outside of the heart, then it's the highest inside the aorta. Uh, and it doesn't go as high inside the pulmonary artery, unfortunately, so it's going to be around here, not as high. The second thing we're going to look at is uh, speed of blood. So let's change the colors. Let's use something different. I'm going to use uh, green. No, not green. Let's use purple. So this is going to be speed, speed of blood, speed of blood. Uh, speed is a little bit, uh, it's, it's quite similar, but it's a little bit different. So uh, starting from aorta, the speed is the highest. So it's going to start somewhere here. This is speed now. Um, and it keeps going down until capillaries which is number five so until number five is going to go down inside capillaries is the lowest again but then at the venules and small veins it actually goes up again and the reason why it does that so it goes up to about number nine here the reason why it does that is because um, speed or velocity is proportional or inversely proportional to area. So in uh, capillaries, where are the capillaries? Capillaries is where the area is the largest because they're so tiny, and but they cover a lot of space. So here the area is the largest, the largest area. Um, and uh, aorta has the highest velocity. And then when it reaches pulmonary um, circulation, it does the same thing. So it drops off, drops off to number 12, and then it goes up again. And then obviously inside the heart, it goes up again. Um, and the last thing we're going to look at is, we're going to look at the, um, area are uh, and we're, let's use a different color let's use a bright blue for this so this is going to be our area or cross section basically cross section of blood um, okay there you go cross section of uh, blood capillaries, blood veins, blood uh, arteries, and so on. So area is inversely proportional to velocity. So it starts over here somewhere. And it does the opposite. It goes up in the capillaries. And then it drops off. Does this. And then it goes up again capillaries and drops off again. So the area is inversely proportional to the velocity. And um, it's important to remember that um, pressure has a slightly different graph. So you can see for a pressure it went down and it would it only went up again inside the, let me just change the pressure again, pressure is orange, um, 
for pressure it only went up again here which was when it's entered when it re-entered the heart so this is the second time it enters the heart so the pressure keeps dropping it doesn't go up after the capillaries whereas um, for the velocity and area it does go up after the blood leaves the capillary so when it when it reaches venules and when it reaches large veins um, the velocity increases again so kind of think of it as um, if we I'm going to move this a little bit think of it as let's just I'm going to give you an example oh no this is too far so imagine uh, I guess imagine uh, a kind of a river that has here let me just draw this river so a river that has um, a bank that expands so um, here in the middle the, the current of the river is going to be really 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 strong this is where it's really really fast um, and it's going to go super super fast the area here however is very small so this is a very low area it's very high speed then when it, when the bank expands here the current here is going to be really really slow this is going to be very slow current but very high area very large area and then when it reaches the uh, next side again when it, when the bank uh, starts decreasing and when it kind of narrows down this is where the speed starts increasing again and the area drops again so this is what happens in your blood as well and uh, and that's about it for blood so if you have any questions please post a comment and I'll try to answer it as best as I can um, and this is it for blood for pressure for area and for speed okay thank you for listening and I hope you enjoyed this video check out my other videos on science and math and other kind of subjects and I'm going to see you later please subscribe bye